sketch a picture in your mind. It's just awareness and breath. That's what you're going to focus on. And the awareness is large, the breath is large. The mind lives by its sketches, its perceptions. Because after all, our senses are bombarded with so many things all at once. And if we didn't have some principle for highlighting what we think is important, we'd be overwhelmed. The problem is sometimes we highlight the wrong things. You could think about the heat. You could think about the pains that come with the heat. They're there. What are you going to do about them? Make sure you get enough salt so that the, you don't have suffer from lack of salt and electrolytes. And you do what you can for the pains. But sometimes there's so, only so much you can do. At that point you say, okay, this doesn't need to be part of my sketch. I have other things I want to sketch. Because after all, we are here with a determination. We want to train the mind. So ask yourself, what sketches would be helpful in training the mind to give you energy? So don't focus on what's oppressive. Focus on where the opportunities are for doing something good, even if it's just maintaining your focus on the breath. Training the mind to stay with one thing is a good thing to do, good skill to master. And think about it. Someday you're going to die, and you're going to need the skill while you're dying. At the moment, the body's not nearly that bad, so you want to maintain the skill even in spite of difficulties. That way you become more and more confident in your skill. So whatever way of thinking is helpful right now, sketch that into your sketch. And anything that's not, let it go. And helpful perception to hold in mind is your awareness is larger than the heat, your awareness is larger than the pain. So don't let it feel confined. Think of it as being as expansive as possible. And the events of the day, the events of whenever, are just that, just little events in a much larger field. And you find them a lot easier to take, because you're not magnifying them, you're not focusing on them. You're just letting them be. They're there. The potential for all kinds of problems is there in the world. The potential for all kinds of problems is there in your mind. But they're also good potentials. So focus your sketch on the good potentials, the ones that help you with your determination that you want to see this training of the mind through. And you find that the mind is creating a lot less suffering for itself. Because you're bringing more skill to it. Remember the word awicca, which we translate as ignorance, it can also mean lack of skill. We suffer from our lack of skill. So work on your skills. Get so that you can master them no matter what the circumstances. And that become your refuge.